Welcome to another update from Force 13. In this one, we look at Typhoon 34W. I look at a Noah Flader. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center's uh, satellite image, and the Typhoon is 11 decimal 8 degrees north, 139 decimal 7 degrees east. Maximum sustain winds 80 knots, gusting 100 knots. And is 1109 nautical miles southeast of Kadena Air Force Base. Our maximum uh, significant wave height at this point in time is 21 feet. Now we have a look at the Joy Typhoon Warning Center's current track. Animated multispectral satellite imagery shows the system uh, continued to expand as more rain bands formed, especially along the northern flank. The system also maintained a well-defined eye, now at a 10 nautical mile diameter. The initial position is based with high confidence based on the eye feature that lined up well with a microwave eye. In the AMC image, initial intensity of 75 knots is based on the PGUA following estimate of T4.5 Four stroke 77 knots. This is the life of the system up to earlier today. The environment is exceptionally favourable with low 10 to 15 knot relative vertical wind shear, radial outflow, warm sea surface temperature around 29 30 Celsius. Typhoon 34 is tracking along the southwest periphery of a deep laid subtropical ridge to the northeast. The International Space Station a couple of hours ago uh, did fly near the uh, typhoon, but the um, quality of the stream wasn't good for me to capture. Now this is the uh, microwave view. Typhoon 34W will track generally north eastward up to 36 hours under the steering ridge afterward and approaching mid latitude trough will create a weakness in the steering ridge shifting the track northward. The environment will remain favourable for intensification in the near term. Now here's some uh, track guidance and intensity guide. So what do the models uh, say? The environment will remain favourable as mentioned for intensification in the near term peaking at 95 knots around 24 hours before gradually weakening to 60 knots by 72 hours as vertical wind shear increases. Numeral guidance is in good agreement, lending moderate confidence in this portion of the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's track chart. Beyond the 72 hours, the typhoon will turn northwest, then northward as the, as the steering which builds back to the north and slightly we seeds. Now we have a look at the NOAA floaters. Moderate vertical wind shear, upper level conver convergence and dry air entrainment are expected to cause significant weakening bringing the intensity down to 40 knots by the 120 hour mark. And when we have a look at the uh, rainbow the satellite imagery, you can clearly see that it's wanting to get its act together and the cooling of the cloud tops represented by the right. There is a significant spread in the numerical model guidance, reaching a span over 650 nautical miles with 
the JGSM on the extreme left upper level divergence and the CTCX on the extreme right of the model envelope Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's track forecast lies near the consensus track wind shear the red is unfavourable green favourable yellow neutral 24 hour shear tendency and what does one say when you look at the lack of area in the blue and green for the typhoon and again one of my favorites uh, the a50 minute bar vorticity the intensity guide is on the right hand side of the screen and what I look for is the amount of white and the pivotal weather website accumulated precipitation outlook GFS model the scale is at the bottom of the screen and it's the area in yellow through the dark brown and another one of my favorites is a tropical cyclone formation probability guide apology for that and I'm looking at that area on the equator and thanks to Levi Cowan uh, tropical tidbits one or two tracks uh, Nathan is uh, busy working on the uh, Force 13 uh, week that's the reason why I'm doing some of the updates and a look at two models We will continue to bring the latest information on Typhoon 34W Man Yai. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13 on Facebook under the same name Force13 and our Twitter handle it's at Force13 if you wish to get in touch you can also add Force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord Fool13 at extension 9094